Okay, so I wanted to quickly um, finally do this video on how I did the knockdown stitch in Integralian Stitch Artist Level 1. It's very simple. It's just going to really manually like outline the area that you're going to be doing the knockdown stitch for. So, um, to start off, what you're going to do is you're going to click the little A at the top for the text. And then you're going to type in the name. So, the name is Taylor. I'm going to type it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The name is Peyton. So, I'm going to type it. And I'm just going to pick this font. This is the font that I used. I think I got it from Etsy. It's really good. Nice thick font for those projects that you're afraid to really experiment with. Obviously, I'm doing these with a 4x4 four four hoop. So, I'm just going to pick the size that is going to fit in the hoop. With these fonts, with the script fonts, they look better when you space them. So I go over here and I just size them together. And a lot of times what I find is a better option is to put half of the name and I space those letters close together and then I type the other half. So the P-A-Y is there and now I'm going to type the T-O-N. And you see how it's kind of like broken up there? I'm going to put them closer together. And then I'm going to go to this little space right over here on the right hand side where it says space and I'm going to squish the rest of the letters over here. I'm going to just like squeeze them together. It just looks more natural like that. It looks a lot better when it stitches out. So now that's done. I'm just going to outline this whole name to make it into one piece. There you go. And now you can move it around. Now to do the knock down stitch super easy. We're going to go to the top, follow my mouse. I'm going to click this icon. I'm going to click this icon right here at the top. And then we're going to go here on the left. We're going to click the draw with points. And then we're just going to take our mouse and click, 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 click. And we're going to draw an outline around this. Now I've seen, or the one video that I saw that did help me, um, she used way less points than me but i'm new with this so i'm very nervous <laughs> and i feel like i just want to take baby steps and move very very slowly so i probably am using way too many points i'm not a professional digitizer but this has worked for me so you're just gonna draw the points all the way around i like to stay really close to the letters so that it doesn't like overpower it i just kind of want it to be right there in the background nice and snug underneath the the name so that's what we're doing we're just gonna go around and click 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 and outline the name until we get to the very end right over here now it's the end right and then we're gonna go back up to the top look at my mouse and i'm gonna click the fill Doop. so now we've given it a fill stitch right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna check over here we don't we don't want anything in this area filled out um, the density is 12 that's all we want I like to pick a color even though you can you kind of use any color you want honestly once you get to your machine but for the sake of being able to change the color or see it clearly when I do the stitch simulation I just give it a color so I'm gonna make this one like a white gray whatever it's not even the color that I'm using but it is what it is so now that that's there what we're gonna do going to come over to the right we're going to put these layers in order so we want the design to be at the top the fill stitch is supposed to be at the top now i'm struggling but what you're going to do is you're going to right click where it says design and then you're going to click move first and then for whatever else is going to stitch out if you want it to be second third fourth whatever order you want it to stitch in you're going to right click and then move it to where you want it that's it so I would right click design, click move first, right click the PAY, move that um, second, and blah, 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 blah. So that's it. Um, so once you finally get them in order, you're going to go to the top to where you see that little needle right here. You're going to click that, and we're going to just do the stitch simulation just to see if it looks right. So we see it's going to stitch out the design first, and then it's going to stitch out the name. Looks good. Perfect, that's what we want, and that's it. So now we're gonna save it. Saving it obviously as a PDF, so saving it to my laptop. Then I'm gonna put it on my USB and we're gonna stitch it out. So get ready for that part.
add another eight minutes to this video. I really want it to be short and sweet. So I just quickly cut these seams up. But I did want to show um, the way the knockout stitch looks. It's literally just like a really smooth foundation that gives you a nice, you know, a good smooth area to lay down your, um, your letters on thicker material, you know, furry, fuzzy material lush knits things of that nature so this is what the knockdown stitch looks like i'm gonna let the um clip play for a little bit just so you guys can see what it looks like and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some more clips of the full stitch out and the finished product this video was helpful if you have any more questions feel free to ask in the comments um, any suggestions are always welcome again I'm a newbie I'm just sharing whatever I learn along the way um, if you like this video don't forget to you know like the video click 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 comment subscribe share me on Facebook groups put me out there girl no but seriously um, I hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for the next one because I will be posting another pack video very soon. Bye! Bye.